Hello there ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get plugins on single player Minecraft. This can be on any client, it's not a mod, it's, it's very very simple. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to go over here and type in um, spigot and I'm going to do 1.8 Now you just go down to the version that you want. So for me, I'm going to, actually I'm just going to do 1.8.8 because I think, I think 1.8.9 doesn't exist. So yeah, we're just going to click on that. We're just gonna install the file while that's happening on your desktop or anywhere on your computer you want to make a new folder and just name it i'm just gonna name it server oh server there we go and now you can go in here wait for this to finish installing here we are should be about to be finished if it's not finishing then it should be, yeah, it's, it is already done, it's just because it's trying to virus check it. So anyways, I'm going to go in here, check it over. While we're waiting for that, you also want to search up Java, download, and yeah, you want to install Java. I'm pretty sure I've got it, already got it, but I'll, I'll just install it one more time because I don't think it's actually been installed yet. Just click install. Be sure not to change the destination file as I can break it. Okay, I think this one's done installing. Yep, there we go. And you name this one server. And yeah, we're just gonna while Java's installing, right click, tap on new, and text document, and you're gonna just name this start. Over on here. And paste in the code that's down in the description. It's just some badge code. And we're gonna re rename that with server. And right here, this is how much RAM is gonna be allocated to your server. I'm just gonna do maybe about four, I believe that'll work. So now, I believe if we go, actually, hang on, you're gonna click here, file, save as. And right here, you're gonna do this is your start.txt. You're gonna rena rename it to start.bat. So right here, we can start this up. Starting server. As you can see, it's all working. It will add a couple of files. You want to open this one up, eula.txt, and rename Gris is false. You want to change that to true. Now close out of this, and now get back into it. And now it should start running through. So we're just going to let this load. Okay, so the server's all finished, and as you can see, we can do help and all that, we've got all of our commands. And if we head over to Minecraft, click on multiplayer, add server, and then we just type in localhost. As you can see, it instantly comes over server. If we log into this and go back over here, as you can see, I've logged in, and it's all working. It's got 5 gigs of allocated RAM. It's actually very loud, let me just turn my sounds down a little. So we're in. And as you can see, at the moment, if I try to game run, it says I don't have access. That's where this comes back, and we do slash op crypt uh, game, I believe. Oh, sorry, op crypt game. You don't actually need the slash. And now, if we try that again, as you can see, we have creative. So it's pretty awesome. Basically, we've just hosted a server off of our computer. Okay, so now, what I'm going to teach you how to do is install plugins on your server. First of all, you want to do is Right here, there's a permissions file and there's a server.properties file. You want to open the server.properties. I'm just opening it with a text editor. I'm just going to do notepad for the time being. In here, what you want to do, basically, this is all the permissions. So you can turn PvP on and off, change the difficulty, the, the default game mode. But the one that we actually want to look for is enable command blocks. I believe it's a kind of near the top. Might be wrong on that. We'll actually just do this. If command. Here it is, okay. Enable command block. So, right here. Um, replace that with true. And yeah, so you once you're in here, you want to find a plugin. Um, 1.8.8. Okay, so we'll do this one here. Up to Minecraft 1.8.8. Click save. I've actually downloaded multiple ones, as you can see, but they don't seem to have actually worked. So, this one, this one should. Oh, the reason being for that actually is because those are forge files, that's actually my problem, bad. Um, okay, so we'll drag and drop this one in, roll it in a bucket. We will, the, well the server sh should be stopped. The way that you do that is you just type in stop. I start server again. Okay, so now it should be finished. If we hop back over to the server. 
depth that we're in. Instead of it being like all different if we do like slash help, instead we have welded it at the same time. So as you can see, we can mess around with this. We've got five gigabytes of RAM to mess around with it, but that totally depends on what you've um, done. But as you can see, we've got welded it. We can mess around and all that sort of stuff. Basically, that's how you set up a server and get plugins running. It's technically single player. You can also have your friends join if they're on the same internet connection. Because it's local host, basically it depends on what Wi-Fi you're running. But yeah, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!